In addition and subtraction, we're concerned with the common denominator. However, in multiplication and division, common denominators are not required. This simplifies the process considerably. Let's take a look at multiplying fractions. A procedure known as cancellation can serve as a useful shortcut when multiplying fractions. Cancellation simplifies the numbers with which we are dealing and often leaves the answer in lowest terms. Here are the steps to multiplying fractions. Step 1. Multiply all the numerators to form the new numerator. Step 2. Multiply all the denominators to form the new denominator. Step 3. Reduce the answer to lowest terms if necessary.